which is a pen that runs CLBC Java. Uh, my first reaction was, what the? <laughs> Why would anybody want a computer in a pen? But then, you know, I went to your, you guys have a website where you go through some use cases. And it's actually completely brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, 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 and once again, these, these guys, um, you know, because they're, they're, they're a show device, you can, you can buy them upstairs and um, it comes with, a, you know, IDE plugins. You can, you know, you can write code for them and, oh, and actually use them. Right. Got it. Thanks. Well, what, what we've created is, is a new type of a mobile computing platform. And it starts by allowing you to capture. And I start writing. And when I write on paper, I say Java 1. And now at the bottom of the page, there's some controls. Over here, there are recording controls and then playback controls. So this has a, uh, I'll explain. I touch record at the bottom of the page. It shows now that it's recording. Oh, no, I didn't need this yet. So I'm just recording. So uh, as, I'm, as I'm speaking, I'll write uh, 1. And this is the pulse smart pen from Livescribe. It has a speaker, microphone, a display, an OLED display. It has USB connection, one or two gigs of memory to hold one or two hundred hours of audio as you record. Uh, but it is a platform, and the second part of the platform is our desktop software. So as I'm writing right now, it's capturing my ink, digitizing it, and storing the audio, and it will associate it with the ink. So when I go back to my paper and touch the ink on the paper, it will play back the audio exactly where I hear it. So I'll do that in a moment. So I've written the desktop three, the third part of our system, is our web. So here's our platform. Now if I come to the bottom of the page and I touch uh, stop, now I go back here. Now I'll plug in, um, I can play it here, but I'll plug in an external speaker so you can hear what I just did. So I touch one. Oops. If I touch my game pulse, smart and wise, right? So wherever I touch this, there's two. Turn the volume. Three. So I can. So, 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 so you're recording our voices. Right. From when you were writing it. So, so if you're like a college student and you're in a lecture and you like copy down the the, 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 the professor's graph or you know That's whatever right. you you know you, you you write some equation and then later on you're going what was he talking about? <laughs> That's right. You then just click on the page and you hear the. Professor's voice. It's all stored here. It records also uh, what we call far field recording. So we, we include uh, some earbuds that have microphones in. So we could pick up a pin drop in the back of the room. So it's very <coughs> powerful. But when I come back to my controls on my page, I also can jump to where I'd like to. Software. So as I'm fighting right now, I can go to the middle of it. I can play back speed adjust. I can speed it up. <laughs> I can go normal speed. I can slow it down. And I'm going to display at this point, if you look at it, you can show I recorded 46 seconds worth of audio, we're at 44 seconds right now. So I can control, control my audio. But that's just the starting point. It is a computer, it's a platform, it supports input. My writing is not great. Por favor. Now from there, I could change languages to Mandarin, for example. Mandarin. And now touch the same word, just tap it. E cafe king. Or maybe to Arabic. Arabic. Wahed kakwa. Min fadlak. <laughs> so, let me show another quick fun app. Connect the lines on the top and bottom. Okay, it's speaking. It's showing me on the display how to do this. So I'll draw them. I'll draw the bottom. Write the letter I. This is your instrument icon. Double tap when you're done. I. Write the letter R. This is your rhythm tracks icon. R. Tap the keys to play. So we built a piano. Let's play it. <laughs> so by the way, since it's a piano, I should be able to. <laughs> I could uh, I could change instruments. Microphone. Kalimba. Steel drum. Fiddle. So, <laughs> I could draw in the sharps and flats, and I could uh, kick off a background beat, but I want to keep moving. So, we thought about this audience, and, uh, and one of the developers, and we'll announce that shortly, uh, had some fun. So I'd like to see what people really know about Java here. Okay? So we'll go to another app.
Main menu. Paper replay. Piano. And movies. Translator demo. Draw count. JSR jungle. Okay? So first off, JSR numbers. So this switch is loaded on here. And uh, as a jar. So write a JSR number. Well, let's see. How about, who knows what 135 is? 135. 135 JSR shows. Well, that's the mobile media API. How about uh, 211? Takers up. Let's see. So 211. That's Chappie. Or maybe 1. Does everyone know what 1 is, right? Yeah. The only one that I actually worked on. <laughs> In honor. So there's 1, and that's the real time specification. So, so this is just on paper. Now let me show you the rest of the system quickly. If I take those off, I'll close this. So this comes from 